if you want to have more confidence, if you want to have more belief in yourself, if you, the, hell, if you want to have more belief in who we are as a society yep. and who we are as a, like a global community, you, you do some work, yep. like do the work. The work comes before the belief. Welcome to the Fuel Hunt Show. What's going on, Eagles? Welcome to the Fuel Hunt Show. I'm Joey. I'm here with my cousin and co-founder, Drew. What's going on? What's going on, cuz? Happy to be here. As always. Alive, As- alive and well. Good. good. Grateful good. for another day filled with potential and opportunity. Uh, I love that. I love that. Today, I wanted to talk about something that really just drives like a dull blade through my chest when I hear it. Mm-hmm. That might sound a little negative to start off the show. A, but- a dull blade through the chest is... It's painful, man. Yeah, it's painful. It's yeah. painful for me. Um, before before we get there, though, recently uh, there was a hurricane, right, battered the East Coast. I'm not sure that the actual name. I think it's Helene, right, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I try and stay off the the grid when it comes to like news and. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just- this is one of those things that um, I actually got a bunch of emails. Uh, from the community about yeah, true, and it affects true. like a lot of our community members true. so i'm kind of in the loop with it but you know me like i'm on news yeah, diet i haven't watched the news yeah, for years yeah. but when something like this happens especially you know running up and down um the east coast uh grabs my attention yeah. i was aware i was aware of it I'm not aware of the name though no, yeah, not, yeah. the I name i got a I got a head nod after i threw that name i got a head nod from uh, dane he was like yes that's dane's up on current events he's got uh, it yeah he's got he's got it back um so anthony um from uh georgia from Augusta, Georgia, I believe, community member emailed me, and uh, man, it was a great email. He uh, s- attached photos, basically like the eye of the storm um, went through there, and he attached photos of him in his hard work soft world shirt yeah. with his chainsaw, clearing trees wow. on a street, wow. clearing uh, trees in his na- on his neighbor's property, and just like tied together how um, everybody was working so hard in his neighborhood and that they were the few. He you sent know? you the photos up? Yeah, he sent the you photos. You got to forward over for the yeah, feed, dude. I'll, I'll send them to you. He even had his, um, he even had his water bottle there. Yeah. And the water bottle had a um, built to last sticker on it. Oh. So it was, a, it was a really touching and, and moving email. And he gave us some flowers. And I wanted to mention him uh, today on the show, give him some flowers for the hard work that he's doing in his neighborhood. Um, in addition to that, I got some other emails. Yeah. As I do all the time, some some replies, right? Yeah. And I was going through them, and I, I got one. This community member, I won't say by name, uh, but um, he was telling me that he was basically like stalking tees, including the uh, hard work soft world tee yeah. um, that Anthony was wearing. He was basically stalking it, and he waited for like three months to actually pull the trigger yeah. and get it. And then he went into a story about how he felt that he wasn't worthy of the tea. He didn't feel as though he was one of the few. So that thing that like drives that blade through my sternum every time I hear it is when community members email me and they say, I'm not one of the few, but I do blank. I do do this. So it sounds like I'm not one of the few, but I'm in the gym five days a week. I'm dialed in my nutrition you know, I'm in my community doing, you know, good works of service. For, but then saying, like, you're not one of the few. Yeah. Because there's some little bugaboo that's still left, right, that they're working on, that they haven't conquered yet. They feel like they're not worthy to be in the community. And it's so painful for me when I hear that. Um, someone said the, the same thing to me, some very similar thing to me at Jiu-Jitsu last night. And they said as though they didn't feel like they deserved the shirt they were buying or the rasher they were buying. And um, they see a lot of the people that are on our website, the the mm-hmm. fits of the few. And I had to reassure them that we're all on different points of the journey, right? Some of us are just starting and some of us are years into it and mm-hmm. diet, like you said, down on our nutrition, down on our work. Mm-hmm. Um, but the way I see it, and obviously you do as well, but the... Becoming one of the few starts with the decision you make when you wake up in the morning, right? It could be, you could have been one person yesterday, but you could be a totally different person today. Yep. And um, what you choose to wear, as we say, the battle flag for that day can relate to whatever mindset you have. So if you choose to change your mindset today, then congratulations today, you're one of the few. 
Yeah, it's that choice. It's like being aware enough to make that choice. Yeah. You don't have to be successful in making the choice 100% that day. Yeah. But if you got up and you put the work in and put your best effort forward to fulfill that choice, you know, whatever it was that you wanted to make to be better than you were the day before, then you're one of the few. Yeah. You know, so that's like that's kind of what I wanted to talk about um, today. And I really wanted to underscore that for our community members because – you you mentioned fits of the few. If you pay attention to fits of the few, like yes, there are there are pro athletes in there, there are high level grapplers in there. But if you really pay attention to fits of the few, there are also people that are on that journey to get there, yep. right? Moms. That are just starting their fitness journey. That are working out. They, they can't even afford a gym membership yep. because they're single mothers and they're home and they're doing band work. Yep. Or you know what I mean? not even. What I was going to say is they're not even <clears throat> working out. They're being strong leaders, moms, yeah. dads. And, and, and I remember, I believe it, I, uh, I want to say with Andrew Silverman, I posted it the other day, mm-hmm. just sitting there. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, a good, his, his he's dirt, a good dude. Rocking his dirty and uh, hanging with his kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, he's just good being dude. a strong father. Mm-hmm. And it is so much more than just your mindset in the gym or your nutrition or your habits. It's really just who you choose to be and how you choose to lead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that another important point is like not to cut you off, but when we made or came up with the idea for the first few hundred shirt, we weren't um, multi-million dollar entrepreneurs. We Mm -hmm. still aren't right. Like Mm we, we have built a pretty big business, uh, but the shirt that we came up with and created had the message on it that we wanted to believe ourselves and portray to the world. Right. I mean, that, that T, our mantra was meant to inspire and instill the ability for community members to make that choice that you spoke about earlier, yeah. to make that choice in the morning when they yeah. woke up. Yeah. You know, it wasn't about the fact that we've already won. It was about the fact that we have work to do. Correct. You know? So that's the, that's the other important point that I wanted to underscore. I also hear a lot over email I'm going to rep fuel hunt when I have this specific win, yeah. which is, I will say in some, in some instances it's cool because I'll get, I'll get community members right in. They say, Hey, look, you know, I had a goal to lose 25 pounds. I've lost 20. Yeah. When I, when I get to the 25 marker, I'm going to get this tea because like as a treat for myself I and a, a friend, celebration. I you have know? a friend Dane that every, um, my other friend Dane. Not this Dane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who who does train jiu jitsu? Because Dane refuses. To we were talking around. about it before uh, before you got here. We were talking about it, and I think we got him on the edge. That must be why you laughed when I asked if he started training yet. Yeah. <laughs> first saw him, but <laughs> my good friend Dane jiu jitsu. He um we met through jiu jitsu, but he rewards himself. Yeah. Every promotion, like a stripe, or like with a new few on to here. See, I'm guard. I'm into that. So in yeah. that instance, it's it's good, but you, it sounds like he's kind of Dane's in a rhythm. Like yeah. he he knows, you know what I yeah. mean. For those that aren't, that are saying, okay, well, you know, I'm going to rep the few, whatever that means. Now, it could be wearing Fuel Hunt. It could be uh, sharing our movement, <coughs> our counter movement and our mission on social. It could be bringing a friend in, whatever that rep yeah, is. Yeah. Um, they say, when I have this win. And I'm like, look, it's not about having the win. It's about hunting the win. Yeah. That's what makes you one of the few. So what are you waiting for? You're missing out on a great community that will support you and inspire you on the journey. So yeah. stop keeping everyone at arm's length, dive in. Yeah. You'll get to where you want to go quicker. Yeah, that's the the start now thing. Like a lot of people ask, like in Rise, and people we coach are like, ask. they ask a lot of advice, like when do you think I should do this, when do you think I should do that, and the, and the answer is now. Like, like yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> like like yesterday. Start now. Like they're, tomorrow's not promised, and the action – already needed to be taken so you need to start now yeah yeah that goes to you know me with my alliteration i was talking to jesse (laughs) um jesse the other day and uh one of the fits of the fuse that he sent out on saturday he had some alliteration in there and i was like i see your alliteration man i I like it but it goes back to like the the waiting the wishing and the whining thing for me like those things make everything exponentially more difficult like yes it's hard now to start but the longer you wait, the harder it's going to get, and not in a good way. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
the more wishing you do for better circumstances to start, the harder it's going to get. Not in a good way. Yeah. And the more you whine about it, which many in the few don't whine, but we do have some yeah, waiting do and have, wishing. We do have an anti anti whining. We policy. do have an anti whining policy. <laughs> it reminds me of um, uh, Brendan Mooney. I think uh, yeah, Brendan Mooney, uh, Travis Mannion's like best friend. Mm -hmm. He had a uh, a phrase: "Be strong, be accountable, and never complain." Yeah. Not yeah. as not as linguistic as as your <laughs> they're called your uh, they're called uh, literary devices yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the same uh, yeah literary device but a very strong message and something that stuck with me yeah for for sure for sure yeah I think that um, you know it's it's natural for all of us and when I say all of us I speak for not not only our community but you and I too, it's natural for all of us to have feelings of low worth at times. But the one thing that you can do, arguably the most important thing you can do, is surround yourself with people that are going to pour into you that will raise your feelings of, of self-worth. Like join a tribe, join a community, surround yourself with the right people that have the right mindset and work ethic. No matter where they are on their journey, yeah. that will raise your level of worth. Yeah, it's interesting. This kind of lends or sounds a lot like, now that I'm thinking through it as we're talking about it, sounds a lot like imposter syndrome, right? Mm -hmm. Like you that is. people yeah. have imposter syndrome and they don't believe they could, they deserve to wear if you want to your rash guard and it's something that I believe that everyone who's actually out there doing something or making shit happen, it has imposter syndrome. It's the people that don't, the people that don't have imposter syndrome are the people that aren't actually doing the work and exactly acting like it, the, the imposters, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. So I would say if you, if you're concerned, if you're even thinking in your head, like, am I an imposter? Like, should I not? wear this or be a part of this community and the answer is probably no like you're probably out there doing the work you're just at your part of the journey when someone else is further along on theirs well yeah like you said the only people that don't have imposter syndrome are the imposters yeah, exactly <laughs> right exactly. that's exactly. like that's the way it works i i sometimes i get grilled for for saying this sometimes not not too often but sometimes um i say you know your work instills your worth there he goes again right yeah your work and social worth. And then people come at me and they're like, well, everybody naturally is a worthy human being. And I'm like, oh my yes, God. I get that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I get that. I'm not saying that people aren't worth anything that aren't working, but if you want to raise your self worth, if you want to have more confidence, if you want to have more belief in yourself, if you, that, hell, if you want to have more belief in who we are as a society yep. and who we are as a, like a global community, you, you do some work. Yeah. Like, do the work. The work comes before the belief. Yes. Yeah, the, same thing. Work comes yeah. before the belief. Yeah, same same, same exact thing. Yep. Same exact thing. So, you know, on this journey of, uh, you know, whatever your journey is, but but on your journey, if you're saying to yourself, I'm not worthy to wear a fuel hunt yet, you're missing the point. Yeah. You agree. know, you're missing out. I agree. You're missing out. That's a good, um, that's a good correlation to imposter syndrome. A lot of times with imposter syndrome, uh, we had a, in Rise, uh, Diana Coolian came in and um, she spoke about imposter syndrome a little bit and the way that she painted it, I absolutely loved. It was just like some type of trauma, large or small, that's just rattling around in your nervous system that you haven't released or healed yet. And again, that, it that could be- That was a very side pause on that. Like, but the Diana Coolian, if you want rise talk, oh, was it's literally one, one of my favorites. Uh, the no, level no, no disrespect to everybody else <laughs> that was, you know, coming, came yeah. into, um, rise and comes into rise, but dies was one of my favorites. The level of depth that and yeah. value that was provided, like that was a crash course on human psychology and, yep. Yep. and healing uh, and, and my, my brain was bending like yeah. at the end of it, I was like, wow, like I literally feel like I just went on like yeah. a, a time warp. I watch it every once in a while. I rewatch it. Uh, so yeah, do you if you're, see me on camera like look at what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think at the towards the end you ask a question too, and you say something similar like, "Oh my, like brains <laughs> bent or something." Um, if you are uh, for the Eagles that are watching and listening, if you're in Rise, rewatch Diana's uh, uh, Rise speaking event. Uh, if you're not in Rise, 
fuelhunt.com forward slash rise. Yeah. Join Rise yeah. so that you can watch it on on replay. Um, but yeah, she she described it as as you know some type of trauma that's still like rattling around in your nervous system that you have to overcome. And I think that that is that's the source of everybody's imposter syndrome. You know, some yeah. are some are tiny, yeah. some are much larger. But uh, I say tiny, meaning. There's varying degrees, yeah, but to everybody, it's relative. You're not trying to diminish anybody's yeah, Exactly. Anybody's yes, trauma. yes, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, that's 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 what it is, and the work is the thing. The work is the thing that releases oh, yeah. that and heals that. Oh yeah. Yeah. The the mental self work, like that's, and we're kind of going on a journey here, but I like journeys. People hear the word work and they think swinging a hammer, right? Like that's there's so much more to work than just reps in the gym mm -hmm. or getting on the mats or swinging your hammer. Like if you're not doing everything required for the goal you're looking to achieve, mm -hmm. then you're really not doing the work or the hard work, right? Like yeah. you can show up to jujitsu, get on the mats and roll around, mm -hmm. but are you taking this time to study to drill mm -hmm. that's a, like how many people do you know actually drill drill the moves yeah and yep. uh, work on your flexibility your mobility your nutrition mindset the how many guys do you know on the mats that don't even act, lift mm -hmm. like strengthen their their, their bodies mm -hmm. yep um that's just one yeah it's an example yeah that's one example but it applies to everything in life right yep. like the if you're looking to be a great leader or a great business person, you still need to meditate, start, uh, learn about mental self-work, heal, yep. right? Yeah. You need to do the the mental work, the emotional physical work, work right? And the spiritual work, work or yeah. emotional work. Like like you many, need to do all three of those how things. How many great business men I mean, and women are not great leaders and yep. emotional and rational, ir irrational? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're all we're all works in progress. I think you know it starts with that level of awareness. Like yep. you, you need to have that level of awareness to know how deep the work goes. People talk about doing the deep work, you know how deep the work goes because it's far below what's done just on the surface. Yep. You know the surface of going to the gym, hitting the mats, cooking the food. That's the surface level stuff. The yep. work goes much deeper than that. And we were we were just talking about that the attention and intention, you know. And being able to sit there and say like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Does it serve me or does it not? This is why I'm doing it. And maybe I need to make a change. You know, it's deep, it's deep work. We know a lot of people that are, you know, very proficient in the physical aspects of the work, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be strength, uh, technique, like all that other stuff. But the people that are really dialed, really, really dialed, They've got the mental game, right? And they've got the spiritual or emotional game. Dude, I, out of college, I was, or in college, I was the spitting example of that. I would go to the gym and work out, like lift weights, and my diet was absolutely trash. <laughs> and I just got fat and yeah, I got strong. I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. But like, I don't know who I thought I was. Like, that was going to cheat the system, right? Like, yeah. I was like, I'm like, I'll get, I'll get into shape. It'll just yeah. work, right? Or you're, you know, you're so naive to think that, you know, as I was too, where, you know, you think that you work hard all week at the office, you work hard, uh, you know, all week at the gym and then the weekend comes around and I, I've earned this or I deserve this. And then you just drink your face off. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was talking about that well, yesterday. Was we had like, that was, was multiple growing. days. Yeah. And I was, we were talking about that and it's just like, it's a, it's a wild world we live in. I, I even remember I've. For some reason, I remember I asked myself this so, or someone this so vividly and when I was in college in my drinking era. Mm -hmm. But I said, like, what do people do for fun that don't drink? Like, yeah. I literally remember asking, like, yes. like, as, like, a joke, but, like, seriously, like, yep. that's the fact that I was that person. And I just showed you, right? Like, we yeah, started Few Hunt and the Few. Like, yeah. that was who I was at one point. Yeah, and same, that's same. what I... That's... So, like, <laughs> yeah you're right you're that's what right. i believe that it's like i chose one day to wake up and i said i'm not gonna be this person anymore yep yeah you made the choice going all the way back to what you said what you said initially i really want to like i try to do that i try to make sure that we're meeting the community 
where they are right now. Yeah. Because although we may be a little further down the road than most, like we are still works in progress. Like where they were or where they are, we were. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, uh, today I just posted. Today, uh, nine months, one day, sober, right? Now I was never a big like drug dude. Like I didn't yeah, do yeah. drugs or whatever. Um, but like drinking, nine day or nine months, one day, alcohol free. That's the longest I've ever been alcohol free. Yeah. Right. F since I was nineteen. Right. Yeah. And that's me now today. Yeah. Like Joey today, like doing this show. Yeah. Nine months. Yeah. So like I'm I'm a. Yeah. By the way, I feel feel fucking amazing, yeah. and I'm never going back. Yeah. But I'm you know I'm still work in progress. It it is kind of wild. It's the only poison I know. that I know if you. If you say no thank you, you're the weird one. You have a problem. Yeah, it's like, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's you know we're we're all we're all works in progress, yeah. man. We're all works in progress, and yes, we're all inherently worthy. Yeah. Just so I don't get grilled in my in the YouTube comments by people thinking that I, I feel as though people aren't aren't uh, they're out, of they're, worth if they're not working hard. They're out there, dude. They're the people. Yeah, the they're, out, the they're, they're out there, dude. <laughs> They're I, out got, there. I got grilled for uh, what did I say the one time about about you're the, not good enough the solar no the solar system oh yeah, yeah. did they did they grill you in the comments <laughs> yeah it's always like this idiot doesn't know this <laughs> is that is that they say well look I mean you go back to what you do like uh, astronomy is a, is one of the things yeah, exactly, that, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's family if you want jujitsu you know so you know astronomy isn't in that list so you know, you're I, yeah, in you know, my they, eyes they, you're, you're cool. they were like they were like does this dude really not know like. <laughs> It's funny because like some of the people that land on this, some of these shorts, yeah. they, they have no I yeah. idea. Yeah, you uh, YouTube. We're we're pretty fortunate on Instagram, but I will say YouTube is a wild place, wild. dude. Wild because well, you got those you got those people on the screen. They're just sweating through their shorts mindlessly, and they're like, oh. This guy said this. Let me yeah. hate on him. Yeah, I don't like the way this guy looks with a backwards hat. So yeah. let me pick apart what he's saying. I will say you got new shoes on today. What are those? <laughs> These are triple black deconstructed Jordans. Really? Yeah. So they're a little different. I should have known. You know, they, they look like the ATG guy sneakers. Did you ever see him? ATG, them? no. The Ben Patrick knees over toes guy. I know of him, but I don't know. He has like these. Uh, uh, does he? Like yeah, but these shoes. have like a soul and everything. Too. Yeah. They're cool yeah. though. Yeah, no, these are. I like the other you ones. know me. Man. I like the other like, ones better though. It's all black, everything. I mean, I got trust. I was like, fuck, I look. Yeah, hey, actually, you're all black I today too. Like yeah, <laughs> it makes you. I mean, for me, there's something to it. Okay, because yeah. we went through in clothes cognition and all that stuff. But yeah. there's something to this to to black. You look cooler in all black. I would like it. Yeah, you yeah, 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 hundred percent. Me or just generally? No, not that generally. Generally, <laughs> generally, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, most of the gear, like our. Our most popular gear in the community is black. Yeah. So there's got to be something. And once in a while, we get something. We get a oh, we need color. We need color. But every time we drop a color, we drop a color piece with a black piece. The black, the, the black, black always, yeah, the black moves. always sells out. For me, for me, and I'm I'm very serious. I'm very stoic. For me, when I wear all black, it just makes me feel about business. Like whatever yeah. I need to get done that day. Yeah. You know, whether it's office work, mat work, gym work, homework, whatever it is, yeah. I just feel like I'm about business. Yeah. Like I'm here that. to do the work, get the job done. If I show up in like a like a baby blue shirt, I feel like vacation time. Know, or something. Be, you know what I mean? We like, would be thrown off. We would be thrown off if you showed up. You know what I mean? You showed up in yeah. A, what if I showed up in like a tie dye some shirt? Pastels. What if I showed up in a tie dye That's shirt? That's more my vibe. More That's my your vibe. Yeah. But if I, I showed would, up in some pastels, that'd be weird. That, you got the Commonwealth proper jeans on. That's, I do. Yeah, 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 I'm clearly. You know, I'm 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 common. Shout out Aaron I'm and Craig. I'm not. Commonwealth proper till I die. Yeah. Die proper. I go back down there. My old pair doesn't fit me. Yeah, it's gains gains problems. Okay, yeah, exactly. My legs, my legs are huge. <laughs> the gains, the gains, <laughs> the gains. All right. Well, let's let's. Um, this was a fun episode. A little bit off the cuff. I I really want to underscore what I mentioned earlier. Do not, speaking to the few, the Eagles that are watching and listening, don't email me and tell me that you're not one of the few, especially if you're reading, especially if you're reading my emails. Especially, do not, me, especially if you're subscribed. <laughs> do not email me and tell me you're not one of the few you are. It's not about having what you want. It's about hunting what you want. It's not about the wins that you've accumulated. It's about the work that you're accumulating. 
and I, I really want to hammer hammer that home. Don't wait to rep the few because we need you. Yeah, we need you. To restore Not you. only to restore the dignity of hard work, spread our counter movement, but we need you because there's people in the community that need yes. you. Where you are is ten steps ahead of someone else in the community, so and true. they need you. They need to see the path so that you true. walked. You know. Yeah. Anything else that you want to close with before I leave the few with a reminder? No, leave, hit, hit him with it. Always choose hard work over handouts. Always choose effort over entitlement. Remember, no one owns you. No one owes you. You're one of the few that let's hunt. <laughs>